Inside this long-term care home, 74-year-old Ross McKay is eager to be among the first to get the shot and reclaim his freedom. Well, I might be able to go outside or go away from here. I've been married for 53 years and I haven't had coffee with my wife since last March. With the vaccine, he might reunite with his wife, Carol, early in the new year. I would give her a hug and then I would go for coffee. Long-term care home nurses are also near the front of the line. I am beyond excited to know that it's coming, and it's coming so soon. Saskatchewan will begin with a pilot project next week here at Regina General Hospital. 1,900 health care workers who test or treat COVID-19 patients will get the vaccine. That likely includes cardiologist Andrea Lavoie. I am very anxious in terms of wanting to get it so that I can do more for patients with COVID-19. If her name is on the list, she's ready. We always worry about bringing things back to our families. So this certainly will put our minds at ease that we can care for patients and not increase our risk. Phase one that could begin at the end of the month will immunize 101,000 people in the province, including everyone over the age of 70. First responders are not mentioned in the plan, and that's okay with Regina's police chief. I'm pretty proud of the work that we've done to be able to keep our staff safe. And so you're not going to see us pushing necessarily to the front of the line. Back at Sherbrooke Community Centre, they're counting on the vaccine to change one simple thing. It's the hardest thing to say, I can hold your hand, but I can't give you a hug. It's the hardest thing to say that to an elder, and I'll probably cry now. And after the vaccine? Lots and lots and lots of hugging. <laughs> Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.